<coughs> Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I Kishwani. We are here because we want to learn to read and write Hindi. We are also here because we want to learn to read and write Urdu. We are doing both at the same time. Yes. Today is our day number 20. Today is, les today is our lesson number 20. And today we will do the last part, the part 4 of Eki Matra. Part 4 or 4 of Eki Matra. We begin Eki Matra on day number 17, 17, 18, 19 and 20. We, did, uh, we are doing the Eki Matra. The first four days we did the Aki Matra, then the next four days we did Iki Matra, then we did Oki Matra and Uki Matra. Today will be the last day of the fifth Matra, the Eki Matra. Let's begin, shall we? As we already learned in the last three days, day number 17, 18 and 19, the Eki Matra, just like Iki Matra and just like Oki Matra and just like Uki Matra comes in two flavors, the Choti A and Badi A. Choti A is a short A sound and Badi A of course is a longer A sound. To make a Choti A sound, Choti A ki matra in Urdu, what you do is you take your letter, for example B, and you combine with a letter called Badi A. This letter is called Badi A. Badi A. We have done it before, obviously. Badi A. And that makes a B. That's, that Badi A functions as A ki matra. Badiye also happens to be the very last letter of the Urdu alphabet. The penultimate letter is Chotiye. I don't know why I go there, but since I since I said it, I have to will we'll deal with it. So we take a B and a Badiye, and when we combine them, it looks like this: B and a Badiye. That makes it B. B and a Badiye. Let's not call it B. The name of the letter is. The name of the letter itself is B, but let's call it B. B and a and a body A makes a B. And in Hindi you take your letter B and you just put one symbol like this. And that makes it B. Let's look at Badiya ki matra. So again the same thing. If we take a letter B, combine it with the body A, but now in addition to all of this, it requires a symbol on top of the letter called Zabar. It requires Zabar. And zabar goes on top of the letter, not the, not the body here. And that makes a bay. In Hindi, again, you will combine them. There is your b, and then a body here. And then don't forget the zabar. And there is your b. And this time it will require two of them. Just like body oki matra require two of them, this requires two of them. The second one, this one is core for because we have a zabar. That makes a body oki matra. If you do not know this word, look it up and learn it. P N L U N T I M A T. Penultimate. It's not pronounced. It's not pronounced pain ultimate. It's not pronounced pain ultimate. It's pronounced penultimate. Penultimate is a very fancy way of saying second to the last word. Second to the last. Badiye is the very last letter of old alphabet. Chotiye is the penultimate letter. Second to the last letter. Chotiye and Badiye. Oh, let's, let's write some words. Let's write some word. Let's begin right here. Very simple word. We have a b, we have a b. So here's you. Oh, we can we can continue here. We can continue right here. No, we cannot. Never mind. So this one, this 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 word that we are about to write requires a b, and then a re, and a body. This is the body. Oh, so this is the Eki Matra, Choti Eki Matra, and when you combine them together, B and Re, Bade, Bade is in big. B and Re, Bade, Bade, same letter, Re, like we wrote here, when we say Bade, you see the same, R, except this one has the Bade Eki Matra, this one has a Choti Eki Matra, Bade, Bade, Bada, Bade, you get the idea. Bade. Let's contrast this sound bade where A is very quick with this word. It's a very strange com uh, con uh, contrast that I'm trying to make but since it's here we have to do it. 
So we have a letter He. This is He. But He, as you know by now, comes in four different flavors in Urdu. There are four He's. This is called Badi He. These two are called Choti He. And this one is called Dochashmi He. Dochashmi He is used only when you have to make sounds like convert B into a B, Ch into a Ch, J into a J, uh, T, T, T into a Th. You get the idea. Just like in English, you will put T and H together to make a Th sound. For that purposes, we have a special He called Dochashmi do He. The word that we are about to write requires this He, Badi He. So we have a He to which we are going to combine Badi He, but this one is a Zabar. So that makes a hey. Hey. Then we have a re and alif. Ra. This makes a ra. Hey. Ra. So we have a badi. We badi a ki matra. And then we have a ki matra. And finally we have a noon. Heran. And as you can see, in heran. A is a little bit longer. Heran as opposed to Bade. And Bade A is very quick. Bade, Heran. Let's put this together, shall we? We need the room, so I have to raise all of this thing. We can get rid of all of this also. Let's put them together. When He is about to join something, it no longer takes the shape like this, it takes the shape like this. To which we can join Ye, Bade Ye. It requires zabar talk with he, ra, no, heran. You know what heran means? It means to be perplexed, to be confused. Heran. heran Why did it take you so long? I was, I, I was perplexed. I was confused. Herani ki baat hai. It's a point of confusion. Let's do one with the choti ki matra. Again, re, to which we're going to use badi e, that makes it re, re, then we need a sheen. Re, sh, re, sh, mo, re, sh. Do you know what Resha means? Resha means silk. Resha. But as you can see, A is very quick. A sound is very quick. Let's combine them together. So here's your Re. In Re, Re just like Dal, Zal, Re, Re. The letters that look like that, this one, Re, Dal, Zal, oh sorry, Dal, Zal, Re, Ze. They do not join the next letter, if the letter appears on the left side side, they only join with the letters on the right hand side. So this letter is not going to join Ye. Ye is going to be itself, it does not join Re, but it is going to join the Sheen. And when it joins the Sheen, it's only going to take this shape. So that's the show, to which we have to join M, Resham. Resham. Understand? Ratio. Sometimes you see meme written like this. And I don't know how they do it, but it looks like this. Ratio. They come down and then make a hole and ratio. Ratio means silk. We can make another word out of it. Ratio itself means silk. We can make another word out of it by ending it with the badi ki matra. Instead of ratio, we can have ratio me. And if we did that, it will it will require choti, choti ye at the end. Let me erase this thing because there is no room there. Now it's reshmi. Reshmi means something made out of silk. Reshmi. Resham is silk. Reshmi is something made out of silk. But now we have to combine this choti ye with the meme. And because the meme has to join the next letter, it's not going to take its full form. This is full, this is the full form of meme. It's not going to take a full form. It's going to take half form which starts at the bottom. So let's do that here. So this is your show, and then it continues. This is your meme, and then it continues with Chutiya.
Rishmi. Now this is Rishmi. It reads Rishmi, something made on silk. Let's do one with the body aki matra. She, she, so there is your sheen. It's going to join with the body here. And it's going to take a zubber, she. And then we have a ta, ta, and then a noon. Shaitan. Shaitan. And you know what shaitan means? Shaitan is a devil. Let's put them together. Sure. And then bariye. With a zubber. And then a ta. And a no. Shaitan. Now let's pause for a second, shall we? This spelling that you see on the on the blackboard for the word shaitan, which means devil, the Hindi spelling is fine because you only have one ta and that's it. So you can't go wrong. But this spelling is wrong. Shaitan is not spelled with this ta. I'm gonna do it on this side because we need the room. So you can contrast the two how they are written. They have two ta's in Urdu. So pay attention. So here's the first ta. This ta, this one is called te. The name of the letter is te. And this is the exact equivalent of ta. This is the exact equivalent. Then we have another ta which looks like this. And this is called toin. This is called toin. Toin. Right there on day number nine. Toy, right there. That's also a tur, but this tur does not exist in Hindi. So this is an approximate. This is approximately tur. But like I said, in Hindi you don't have to worry about any of this nonsense because you only have one tur. You can you can't go wrong. So shaitan will be spelled with with the tur like you see here. But if you were to write shaitan like this, this will be wrong. Shaitan has to shaitan takes a toy, not a te. So we have to rewrite it. Let's rewrite it. We need to we need a toy. So watch what happens. So here's your she, the show, and here's your j and the alif. That part stays the same. But now we need the ta. How do we combine? How do we convert ta into a ta? Let's do it in the bottom here. So this is toy. Pay attention. And this is alif. Now that makes a ta. When it joins it, it takes this shape. Here's your toy. And you continue with, this is the alif part, this is the alif part, it continues. One more time, there's your toy, and you continue with it. And that becomes a ta. So, there's your toy, that becomes a ta. And then, you know, shaitan. When I write it freehand, it will look a little bit better. Let's do it freehand, shaitan. So, this is your show. That's a ye, and then it's going to take one more for a ta like this. Then it comes down. There's the alif. Where you go? Shaitan. That spelling is wrong, as I said. So now we can contrast the two. Shaitan is spelled with a toy, not a te. Let's continue. With this shaitan, where was that? Now let's do one with the choti iki matra. We back to choti iki matra. Seen. Badiye. So. Badiye ki matra. Choti iki matra. It takes. The, le the letter it takes is called badiye. Listen carefully. This is. This is. This, this There is a potential for confusion. In Urdu, I'm going to say slowly. In Urdu, badiye. Badi a, badi ye rather, badi ye makes a choti a ki matra. And choti, choti ye makes a badi e ki matra. If you combine it with the ba, this is called choti ye. Choti ye makes a badi e ki matra. And it will look like this ba and choti ye. So, choti ye, one more time, choti ye makes a badi iki matra and badi ye makes a choti iki matra 
You see how confusing it can be? Let's continue. So we have C and then B. That's all. You know what save is. Save is an apple. We just wrote apple. Save. It's very simple to combine them. So instead of taking the whole thing, it's going to just take this part. So, and then a y, body A, and then a B. Save. That's how it looks like. Save, as I said, means an apple. But in save, A sound is very short and very quick. Let's contrast this sound with the next word that you're going to write here on this side with body A ki matra. So this time we need a so in a body A, but it has a zebra on top of it. That makes a say. Say. Let's put them, let's do them nicely because most of the time when I see people write, it looks much better than what, what mine looks like because they come together nicely. It looks more beautiful. There you go. Say. That looks pretty. Say. And then we have a la. La and alif. La. So here is our badi ki matra. Here is our a ki matra. Se. La. And then bo. Selab. You know what selab is? Selab is flood. But as you can see in selab, A is longer. Selab. Listen. Listen. Let's contrast. Selab and save. And save is very quick. Save. Selab. Selab. Let's put them together. So here's our so with a zabar because it's the body ki matra. Technically the zabar would, would should not have gone at the point where I put it. Here we go. So here's your so and then a body ye. But because we want body ki matra, we need a zabar on top of the letter. The se, then we need a la and both. Selab. Flood. Selab and save. Let's do one more with choti, choti eki matra. She, not say, but she. She, and then ro. She, you know what share means? Share is a tiger. Let's put them together, shall we? So, ye and ro. Shir. As you can see in shir, a sound is very quick. Let's contrast this word with the next word we're going to write here, which is going to have badi ki matra. So, badi ye with a zabar. So that makes a show. Se, se. And then a row. Seer. In, in seer, in seer, A is longer. It's a share. Share and seer. What do you suppose it means to go for a seer? Seer karne jana hai. Seer karne jate hai. That means an outing, an excursion. It could also be a picnic. Or it could also be a walk. If you go for a walk, you go for a stroll, it's just for enjoyment. Seer karne aaj. Aaj amare, amare, uh, I don't know how to say city. Uh, aap laake mein aajayen, hum aapko kar you have come to my, my town, I'll take you out for an outing. Seer. That's the same. Seer. Seer takes a badi ki matra and share, it's just very quick, takes a choti ki matra. Let's continue. I'm debating something, I'm debating big time, but I'm going back and forth in my mind. But since I since it's bothering me, let's talk about it. So here we go one more time. We we did the same we did the same situation in last video, yesterday's video, and we're gonna come we're gonna do the same thing one more time. So listen carefully. I'm digressing here, something unrelated but important. So whether is a whether the, whether the word requires choti ye in the middle of the spelling or badi ye, when they appear in the middle of the spelling, we know that it takes this shape, both of them. 
So then how is a how is the reader to know whether it's a shear or shear? Because if it per body here, let's put it together here. This is shear and this is what I'm trying to write here is shear. We'll come to in a, we'll come to this in a second as to what it means. They look exactly the same. Except this one, what I'm trying to say is shear. And if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it, I'll tell you in a second. Shear, this what I'm trying to say is shear, but it has the same exact shape. Because whether it is buddy a which is aki matra or choti a, this one is choti a, this one is this one is sha, choti a and a shear. Whether it is buddy a or choti a, it takes the same shape. So how is this reader supposed to know whether I'm trying to say shear or shear? The answer to that is very straightforward, very simple. We don't bother too much about it in Urdu because 99% of the time, and I would, I would go as far as to say 99.9% .9 of the time, you can very easily tell from the context what the guy is trying to share. From the sentence, from the context, you can tell which word is being used here. I gave you one example yesterday. I don't remember what the example was, but again, in that example, I can very quickly tell you, I can, I, I'm, I'm curious now, I can very quickly, quickly tell you what the word was. And the two spellings were very different. Not yesterday, but day before yesterday, day number 18. And, oh, the words were chain. Chain is into two. Aapke, aapke dil mein chain hai. Aapke dil mein chain hai. Chain means peace and quiet, calmness, tranquility. Chain and chain. When you write them, they're going to look exactly alike. But as I said on day number 18, you can very easily tell from the context what the guy is talking about China or peace and quiet. Can't you? Same thing here. Sheer means milk. Or to be more precise, it has a very precise meaning. It's just not just milk. It's not the milk that you buy in a store. It means mother's milk when the baby is breastfeeding. There is no way in the world somebody can be confused in a sentence whether the guy is talking about mother's milk or a tiger. Obviously. Let's continue. It's out of my system. I feel better. Oh, but I left out the most important part. I left out the punchline. I left out the punchline. Bloody hell. If you think, if you think that there is even the remotest chance that the reader might get confused whether you're trying to say share or sheer, then the convention is, the rule is, the tradition is that in Urdu, convention is that underneath these two dots, you put a line like this. Just like the zubber. We had a zubber before, just like the zubber you would put on a letter. This is also called zubber. But because this is standing like this, because it's standing up, this one is called kara zubber. And the convention is that between these two dots you put a kara zubber to tell the guy, hey moron, I'm talking about mother's milk and not a tiger. Do you understand? That's all. That moron part was not necessary, was it? Let's continue. We are on day number 20. I will go back to my right page here. Let's do. We're going to do three words now. We're going to do three words now, one after the other. Actually, two of them only. I got too lazy. I'm, I'm too lazy. We're going to do two words. Both of them, of course, will have eki matra, but they will have a choti eki matra and badi eki matra. Okay, let's, let's take a look at them. Here's the first one. Oh, Jesus, we don't need the red one. Here's the first one. This is the J. This letter is called, not J, this letter is called Jean. This letter is called Jean. And that's your letter J. This is letter J. In English, letter J. And when it's about to join something, it's going to take this shape. J. So let's continue. J. Then we have a lam, lam, and a body. 
Lam, Lam is the letter L. So here we go. L, and it's going to have choti e ki matra. Choti e because it doesn't have a zabar on top of it. J, le, and then B, and a choti, choti e. Choti e, we just talked about it. Choti e makes badi e ki matra. Well, what do you suppose it reads? It reads jalebi. Yum yum. You know what jalebi is? It's a sweet. You buy it at the mitai ke dukan pe. You go to the uh, store that sells sweet, mitai ke dukan, and you buy jalebi, of course. Jalebi. Let's put them together. But as you can see, it has an a ki matra, but a sound is very quick. J, then l, and then badi e. So far it's jale, and then a b. And then choti hai. Jalebi. That's how it looks like. Jalebi. Let's do one. Why don't we why don't we do the second one also? Uh, while we're at it. Jalebi, that was that was jalebi. Let's do one more. Let's do it here. Ha. The word that we're about to write requires letter ha. And again. Hindi is sweet and simple because you don't have to worry about which bloody her to use. We have four of them, as, you, as I keep reminding you. This one requires choti hai. This first one is called badi hai. These two are called choti hai because essentially they are the same letters in different shape. Sometimes you have to write it like this, sometimes you have to write it like this. These two are called choti hai and this is called do chashmi hai. This one requires this hai. Her. Then we need ta. And I don't know how to write ta. I have to look it up. And the reason I don't know how to write ta is because we don't have this letter in, in Urdu. Ta, it looks, I think, something like this. Ta, but we don't want ta, we want te. Now this ta. As I said already, we have the sound in Urdu, but of course we don't have the letter. So what do we do? We will do the exact same thing that you will do in English. If you want to write th, you will write a T and a H. That's exactly what we will do. We will take a T and combine it with other hair. This is a different hair. So this particular word actually requires two different kind of hairs. This hair and this hair. This hair is the chashmi hair. And when we combine them together, it becomes a th. It becomes a th, and that's your letter th. This is equal to this, this is equal to that, and this of course is equal to all of this. They're all thirds. Let's put them together. So here's your her, to which you will have a th. But we don't want th, we want a te. So we have a ye, a te. And as I said, the words that we are about to do a little while ago will have a choti, eki matra, and it will have it will end in a badi iki matra, just like this one did. Jalebi. This one you probably guessed it already. It's going to end with lam and choti here. Hateli. You know what hateli is? Hateli is. Uh, oh, hateli is not what I thought. What I what, what I thought it was. Hateli means hands. But actually, technically, it doesn't actually mean hand. It means palm. The palm of your hand is called hateli, hateli, not the hand, hateli. Let's put them together. So what's going to happen is that this L is going to get up, this L is going to get up, and somehow join this this guy right here like this. But it's, it does not stay up like this. It comes down a little bit. Oh, it also has to join the ye. It also has to join the y. So here we go. L and choti. That's what it looks like. Hateli. Let's write it freehand, shall we? Let's write it freehand so it doesn't look so ugly. One. Just like that. Hateli. Hateli means palm, palm of your hand. Hateli, jalebi. As you can see, A sound is very quick. It's a choti eki matra. Let's contrast this with a word which will require I'm going to put this jalebi on the top so we can leave it on the blackboard. J, le, bi. 
We already have the atelier. We're going to do two words with Bariyaki Matra. Here's the first one. Meme with a zabar and a year. That's going to make it me. And the word we are about to write actually is not a Hindi word, it's not an Urdu word, it's actually an English word which we're going to write in the, in the form of our script. When I say our script, I mean your script and my script. The Arabic script, which we use to write Urdu, and Sanskrit script, I think that's what you call it, to write Hindi. But it's the word itself is the English word. Me, and then Che. This letter is called Che, it makes a Che sound. Match. Match that you have in sports, match. But as you can see, match, the A sound is much longer. Match, Hateli. A is very short. Jalebi, match. You see? Match, Jalebi. Let's put them together. Let's put them together. Where can we do it? Mean, Ye, Zabar, and then O. Oh, can't, I, I can't do it in a hurry because it's going to be a little tricky. Well, let's continue. And then, so here's your Bariye, and this is the chair part. Mitch. Again, let me do it freehand. That's what it looks like. That bloody thing reads match. And there is the chair. Chair starts from here. It doesn't have to be that long, but that's the chair. But you have to draw you have to draw this additional segment. You have to draw this additional segment so that you can join it with the chow. Match. Match. Jalebi. Let's do the last word. One last word with Bari Eki Matra. Very last word. And that will end our Eki Matra. The lesson on Eki Matra. Very last word. Here we go. So this has a zabar on it. Don't forget it. The zabar. The zabar is what gives us the second one. Mage. Right there. Let me first write it in Hindi. And when I say let me first write it in Hindi, you already know that the way I'm going to write it in Urdu, the first time around, it's going to be wrong. So this is... This is fur, but it has a dot. So this already introduces a complication. Let's erase this thing. We don't need it. The fact that it has a da that already introduces a complication. So, let's, and we have talked about it many, many times. I'm going to talk it one more time. So, this is a fur. It has a dot on it. That is approximately this letter. We have a letter in Urdu called fe. This letter is called fe. The, the equivalent of this letter does not exist in Hindi. So, if the writer knows that it requires this fe, he or she will write, put a dot underneath the fur to tell the reader that this requires this fur to tell the reader that this word has an Arabic origin it requires this fur. The fur that you actually have, this fur that you actually have without the dot which is the exact equivalent of PH for which we do the same exact thing in Urdu PH the H here is the, is the Do Chashmi here, as we keep talking about it. And that's the P. P and H will make up just like P and H. And when we combine them together, it looks like this. And this is exact equivalent of your F. This is the exact equivalent. This is the approximate. And the, the word that we are about to write, this dot tells me that you can require F or F. Not fur, but fe. Fe. And then a bariye. And it has a zabar. So that tells me that this is a bariye ki matra. Fe. So. So. And then la. Fe sla. 
Fesla. You know what Fesla means? Fesla means decision. It can also mean verdict. Fesla, decision, verdict. It also could mean a decree. You know what decree is? Decree is a ruling by a, ru by, by a ruler, by, by, a, by a king or a monarch. Decree or a verdict. Verdict in the court is called Fesla. Or it could also simply mean the decision that you and I make every day. Verdict. Fesla. Kya fesla ki aapne? Jana ni jana. Kya fesla ki aapko? Aapne jana hai? Ni jana hai? Jana ni jana So they're deciding whether or not to go someplace. Uh, what's your decision? Are we going or not? Fesla. Kya fesla hai? So that's what this word means. Let's put it together. So there is your fur. It is a bird. And a body hai. Fe. So it only takes two. Face. So, la, face la. Let's erase all of this thing. Let's erase all of this thing because something nasty is about to come. Face la, decision. This spelling is wrong. This spelling is wrong. So, here we go again. So, this is your sir. This is your sir. And this is the exact equivalent. So, this is the exact equivalent. But we have one more sir in Urdu called Suad, right there. We learned it on day number six. Day number six we learned, this is called Suad. And it looks like this. No, it doesn't have two, it only has one. And it's called Suad, su -wad, Suad. This sound, this, this letter does not exist in Hindi. There is no such letter in Hindi, the, the exact equivalent of Swat. It does not exist. All you can do is approximate it. This is approximate Swat because exacting does not exist as I said. The spelling of Fesla requires a Swat, not a seam. It requires a Swat. We have to go back and fix it. Let's fix it. And I left no room. So it will require a swat. We don't need we don't need this guy, we need a swat. So here's our fe ye. And then we're gonna require a swat. Fe su la. There you go. Let me see if it looks right. Oh, this is also wrong. This is still wrong. Oh this 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 word is complicated. This is still wrong. And this goes back to what we talked about in the beginning of the video that sometimes some words in Urdu, even though they end with Aki Matra, they end in a H. They end in a H. This spelling of it is still wrong because it should end in a H. So here we go. No, no. Yes, that's a La, that's a Lam. And then it will end like this. There we go, that's much better. Face La. That bloody thing is finally right. Face lock. I keep checking my notes here. In my notes I have two here. I don't know why. I have like this. It looks like this. Face lock. That means decision. That is the correct spelling. So it had two complications. This this word had two complications. First of all, it does not take a seam and it doesn't end in an akimat or it doesn't end in a alif. It ends in a ha. Face lock. That was it. I don't know why I left it till the end, this particular bloody thing. I know why I left it till the end because it's a bloody thing. I didn't want to deal with it. But I thought we should learn it. Why not? That's the end of Ekimatra. Today is our day number 20 and I don't know yet what we're going to do tomorrow. When the time comes, we'll find out. I have not made my notes, I have not made my decision as to what topic I want to cover. I do have two or three topics in mind uh, and we'll deal with them. One of those topics, I don't know as I said what I'm going to do because I haven't made my notes yet. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Whenever that may come. Bye now.